Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports. I'm your host, Robert. All right, welcome to 2022. First show of the year, we have the New Japan Pro Wrestling Wrestle Kingdom 16 preview. As we've done now for six straight years, the very first video of the year, typically up right about midnight, we have a Wrestle Kingdom preview. Um, so yeah, it's a great three-day card. So we have the 4th and 5th and the 8th. The show on the 8th will be New Japan Pro Wrestling versus Pro Wrestling Noah. First time ever these two companies have worked together and did this combination card. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Literally, it's New Japan Pro Wrestling versus Pro Wrestling Noah. Tag matches, 8-man, 10-man, etc. I'm not previewing that show. I will do a review of that show. I don't watch enough um, Pro Wrestling Noah to really preview it. Um, I watched a few shows in 2021 among the 800, 8,500 matches I watched. Um, probably, I want to say 60 maybe, were Pro Wrestling Noah. Um, but yeah, so we got a great card here today for the Wrestle Kingdom. Let me take a look here and see what Pro Wrestling Noah I did last year. Mm -hmm. Pro Wrestling Noah. I watched so much, I gotta, I gotta search here. For us, I know it's 63 matches. Um, so yeah, those are a few shows I'd watch. They were available on Fight TV. Um, it's a great company to watch, you know, kind of, you see a lot of similarities like you do with New Japan for wrestling. For you, those who don't know that you've heard New Japan, you've heard of Pro Wrestling, no, you're not sure what the, really the difference is. It's literally like WWE, AEW. So if you can imagine a scenario where you have AEW and WWE doing a AEW versus WWE show, that's what Pro Wrestling, Third Night of Wrestle Kingdom is going to be with Pro Wrestling Noah. Um, but yeah, definitely I'll try to review that after I watch it. It's supposed to be delayed on New Japan Pro World. It might be available on Fight TV, but I have not heard yet. Um, but yeah, pre-show for Wrestle Kingdom 16, Night 1. We have New Japan Rambo, a rainbow for the King of Pro Wrestling 2022 trophy. It's going to be a battle royal. The last four participants will go on to Night 2 to wrestle for the King of Pro Wrestling 2022 trophy. If you're new to Pro, uh, New Japan and this KOPW trophy... So in 2020, they created this. Basically, it's a trophy to carry around. Um, and you, you fight for it just like you do any other title. Whoever holds it at the end of the year is considered the that year King of Pro Wrestling um, trophy winner. So for the two years, 2020 and, 2020, yeah, 2020 and 2021, uh, Toro Yano has held the title at the end of the year. He's considered the provisional champion for that year. It's vacated at the end of the year. We have the Rambo, Night 1 in Wrestle Kingdom. Night 2, we have the final, the final four-way to crown who holds the trophy for the to start the year and go from there. Um, that's on the pre-show. First match on the show, we have Yo versus Show. Yeah, Rapungi 3K broke up. Show turned, went with the Bullet Club. Yo stayed with Chaos. Rapungi 3K was five-time IWGP Junior Tag Team Champions. They've had two previous matches before in 2021. At Wrestle Grand Slam, Show won. At Best of Super Juniors, Yo won. I think it's going to be a fantastic matchup. I cannot wait to see these two guys against one another for the third time. Show will have Dick Togo out there with him, part of Bull Club. You know, Bull Club will get involved. Now, what's very intriguing is these two guys will be part of teams on night two. Going for the never open weight six man titles. Show will be part of House of Torture, which is part of Ball Club. Yo will be teaming up with Hiroki Goto and Yoshihashi, looking to get the six man titles from House of Torture. Now, Goto and Tanahashi and Yoshihashi and Hiroki Goto later are we going for the tag titles in night one. So everything's kind of twined together from night one and night two here. Um, I actually got Yo winning. I think Yo's going to be able to overcome the ball club, overcome Togo being out there for show, and Yo is going to get the victory over his brother here. Again, it's going to be a great matchup. Can't wait to see it. Uh, next up, we have a six-man tag, which we have Hiroshi Tanahashi 
and teaming up with the mega coaches, which is Takuchi and Rocky Romero, going against the Bullet Club of Kenta, Teji Ishimori, and El Fantasmo. Now, what makes this really interesting is on night two, Tanahashi and El Fant or Tanahashi and Kenta have an IWGP United States title match, while Ishimori and Fantasmo will go against the mega coaches Takuchi and Romero along with the Flying Tigers for the IWGP Junior Tag Titles. So yeah, so again, you have matches here, kind of combining matches for Night 2. Um, I do figure the Bull Club will get a victory here, which we Kenta, Teji Ishimori, El Fantasmo. They'll be riding high in the Night 2, which they'll lose, I think. <laughs> but in this six-man here, I have the Bull Club winning. Next up, we have another six-man tag. This time we have... Los Ingrenobles de Japón LIJ members. He, he, Naito, Sonata, and Bushi teaming up, going against the United Empire. Will Ospreay, Great O'Connor, and Jeff Cobb. Honestly, Great O'Connor does not need to be part of the United Empire. Um, what's really cool about what Will Ospreay is doing right now is in the in uh, Britain in Britain in the Europe area. Revolutionary, revolutionary Pro Wrestling. He is part of the United Empire with Ozzy Open, Kyle Fletcher, and Mark Davis. In the U.S., he has TJP as part of the uh, United Empire. He's teamed up with him. And then in Japan, we have Great Okan and Jeff Cobb. Honestly, the weakest member of here is Great Okan. I'm not really a big fan of his. Now, Jeff Cobb, Ozzy Open, TJP, Will Ospreay, that is a united empire. Um, but I think here, I think LIJ with Naito, Sonata, and Bushi will get over. Now, in night two, Will Ospreay is going for the IWGP World Heavyweight title. Jeff Cobb has a match against Naito, and then the Great Okan has a match against Sonata. So for this night, in this match, I have LIJ, Los Angeles de Japón, going over, getting a victory. Next up, we have the return of Kishori Shibata. Shibata, um, due to injury, quit wrestling in 2017. He's been the head coach at the LA Dojo. He will have a catch wrestling match, Strikes Prohibited. They have not announced who his opponent is. Now, um, back at the... At the um... <laughs> totally lost track of what... Um... Wow, the G1, wow. He had a five-minute match against Zack Sabre Jr. Uh, UNW, uh, UWN rules. So catch wrestling, no really, no punt, no strikes, no strikes. Strikes are prohibiting these kind of matches. But my guess is it's going to be either a former or current member of the LA Dojo. Um, a couple names that came up to me was TJP. He was part of the LA Dojo. He was actually the first class of the LA Dojo. He recently turned on the dojo to go with United Empire and Will Ospreay. Or Carl Fredericks, who's another member of the LA Dojo, a graduate of LA Dojo. I think somebody like that is going to Shibata is going to go against. Um, to be honest with you, there's no, I don't see why Shibata would lose on his return like this, especially at Wrestle Kingdom. Um, so I got Shibata winning that match. But my guess is the opponent will be of TJP or Carl Fredericks. Next up, we have the Never Open Weight Championship on the line. We have champion Tom Tomohiro Ishii versus Evil. Um, the Never Open Weight title has changed hands at eight consecutive Wrestle Kingdoms. From WrestleMania 8, or Wrestle Kingdom 8 through Wrestle Kingdom 15, it has changed hands. So I have Evil winning this match. Now, AWGP World Heavyweight Tag Titles. We have the champions of Dangerous Tekker, Zack Sabre Jr. and Tai Chi. Versus Chaos is Hiroki Goto, Yoshihashi, who are going to Yoshihashi. And Goto are teaming up with Yo, going for the six-man titles on night two. Now, the IWGP World Heavyweight Tag Titles has changed hands eight times at Wrestle Kingdom. Now, the six-man titles, the never open weight six-man titles, have changed hands. I didn't write that. We lost four times at Wrestle Kingdom. So, are we going to have double champions ending this? Or are we going to have the first retain of the tag titles at Wrestle Kingdom? What I could see happening is former IWGP tag team champions, the Briscoes. I could see the Briscoes showing up, 
get an interfering with this match and the Techers retaining on the interference and then doing Techers and Briscoes down the line somewhere. I could see that or some variation of that. Um, but for right now, based on the fact that it's changed eight Wrestle Kingdoms in a row, I am picking Chaos is Hiroki Goto and Yoshihashi to win. Next up in sub-main, we have the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship on the line. We have champion El Desperado versus Hiromu Takahashi, the best of Super Juniors winner. Again, eight straight Wrestle Kingdoms. This title has changed hands. Typically, the winner of the best of Super Juniors will win the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title at Wrestle Kingdom. I'm picking it again here too. Hiromu Takahashi will walk out IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. Then we get to the main event of night one. The IWGP World Heavyweight title on the line. Champion Shingo Takagi versus Kazuka Okada. Now, the winner here between Okada and, and, and Shingo Takagi will go on to night two to face Will Ospreay, the bell collector. I want so bad to have Okada versus Osprey and Osprey win. I think that will take Osprey from here to here to beat Suzuka Okada at Wrestle Kingdom. The problem with that, the IWGP World Heavyweight title is not like a WWE title where they'll just piece it around like a piece of candy. In the three, two night history of Wrestle Kingdom, which has been three, has it been three years, it's been two of them. Let me look that up real quick here. I believe it's been three years. We've had two. This might be the third year of two. No. Yeah. So, 14, 15, and 16. We've had at least two nights of Wrestle Kingdom. So, this is the third year of the two nights. We have three nights because of the... Um, it's pro wrestling Noah. We've not had title changes both nights. We've not had that yet. The least amount of time that anyone has ever held the IWGP World Heavyweight title. Now, they did change the lineage of the title when it became the World Heavyweight title. Um, it's like 38 days for Kota Ibushi. Now, the title that it replaced... The world title of the IWGP Heavyweight Championship, the least amount of days anyone ever held that was 16. So unlike WWE, New Japan doesn't just flip the title around. They're not going to have Okada win night one and then Osprey beat Okada night two. They're not going to do that. They haven't done that at least so far. So with that being said, because I do want Will Osprey to win, I am picking Shingo Takagi to win night one. He will go on to night two to main event against Will Ospreay, who in my mind is the greatest in the world. But again, it's in my mind. Again, my opinion. My opinion is Will Ospreay's great. Somebody else's opinion might be Roman Reigns is great. Somebody else's opinion might be, you know, CM Punk is the best in the world. Somebody else's opinion might be Raw Truth is the best in the world. Or like I seen on Twitter earlier, um, can we get a promo... Just a promo feud with R-Truth and Mark Briscoe. <laughs> that would be some fun fun stuff there. All right, night two, Wrestle Kingdom 16, night two, pre-show TBA. Don't know who it is yet. First match on the main card, we have the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championships. We have champion, the Flying Tigers, Robbie Eagles, and Tiger Mask. Versus Ball Club's cheetahs tag team, Taiji Ishimori and El Fantasmo. Versus the Mega Coach, Taguchi and Rocky Romero. <sighs> As we've seen on night one, we had a six man, including Kenta and Tanahashi here, which I had Bullet Club winning that. To be truthfully honest with you, I got Bullet Club winning here. I don't think the Mega Coaches are going to win. I got Bullet Club, Teji Ishimori, and El Fantasmo winning. The IWGP Junior Tag Titles have changed hands from WrestleMania 14, 10 through 14. It was retained by Suzuki Goon at 15. So it could also be a, a retained by Flying Tigers, but I do see the Bullet Club winning this. That's my prediction. 
Next up, we have a tag match from Stardom. Stardom is the women's wrestling company in New Japan that New Japan Pro Wrestling did purchase in 2021, I believe, or 2020. We have Maya Iatami and Starlight Kid versus Tam Nakana, Nakana and, and teaming up with Shella Kamani. Um, really, that last team is the one I'm guessing is going to win. I don't know anything about Stardom. I do want to check it out. They don't have really much English going on out there. Um, so definitely want to check that out and enjoy this match here. Next up, we have the Fatal 4-Way for the original King of Pro Wrestling 2022 trophy. Um, again, the end of the year champion for 2020 and 2021 was Toro Yano. I'm going to pick Yano to win this. Um, we don't know any of the participants yet because the Rando, Rambo is on the 4th. Um, next up, we have the number open weight six man tag titles. We have the House of Torture, which is part of Ball Club Evil, Yuro Takahashi, and Sho. Going up against Chaos members Hiroki Goto, Yoshihashi, and Yo. Um, on night one, I had Goto and Yoshihashi actually winning the tag titles, and then I had Yo beating Sho. Um, now, the last four Wrestle Kingdoms, these titles have changed hands. So I got them changing hands as well to Chaos. Next up, we have Sonata versus Great Okan. I got Great Okan winning that. Now that I want him to, I think Sonata can be the next Will Ospreay. They just got to build him up. He is very talented. He's done great work on his own. He was a hell of a tag team with Eva, Eva, Evil for a number of years there. But Sonata's kind of got... To me, it's almost like he was on a trajectory up and just kind of got pushed back down. He's just kind of there. Uh, next up, we have... Naito versus Jeff Cobb. Again, this is coming from the sixth man the night before. I got Naito in this that way. If you look at it, the United Empire lost on night one. Won one, lost one here on night two. Now the main event, United Empire's ruler, Will Ospreay, could win. Um, next up, we have the IWGP United States title in a no disqualification match. Champion Kinta versus Hoshi. Hiroshi Tanahashi, the ace. The last two Wrestle Kingdoms that the United States title has been on, it has changed hands. I got Hiroshi Tanahashi winning this. Now, besides the fact it's changed hands two years in a row, if you look at a notice qualification match, both club gets involved. The ace is one of those kind of guys who, he's going to, you know, he's a veteran. He's kind of like the John Cena of New Japan Pro Wrestling. With all the odds stacked against him, he is somebody that can come out and win the match. So I got Tanahashi, the ace, winning this. Now, we have the IWGP World Heavyweight title on the line. Champion, I think it's going to be Shingo Takagi. Could be Suzuki Okada versus challenger Will Ospreay. Right now, Will Ospreay is considered the belt collector he has in his possession. He's the current undisputed British heavyweight champion. He also has the British heavyweight championship. He also has the Warrior Wrestling Championship. He also has the IWGP World Heavyweight title on him. So he'll walk out with four title belts. Now, obviously he's not IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. In his eyes, he is because he was stripped of the title because of his neck injury. He's never lost it. So he carries all these belts around. I see him winning because, again... Just like with the undisputed British heavyweight title, Ricky Knight Jr. had the British title back out, and it was like since it was it was uh, unified, they didn't use it anymore. When Will Osprey won, he kept that title, so I could see if him winning here, him carrying two IWGP World titles around. So he's the unified IWGP World Champion. Uh, but I think he's going to face Takagi. He is actually three and one all time versus Shingo. Um, the last three Wrestle Kingdoms, 13, 14, and 15, this title has changed hands. So I think we're going to have the belt collector. He's going to add a belt to his four, current four titles, Will Ospreay. The Commonwealth Kingpin will leave Wrestle Kingdom as World Heavyweight Champion. That is Wrestle Kingdom 16 preview and the first video of 2022 here on Robert Sports Show. Uh, if you've ne never checked out our shows before, please check out other shows I've done here. You're going to see a lot in 2022, hopefully. The plan is to do more pro wrestling in 2022 than I did in 2021. Um, if you're a NASCAR fan, I got the NASCAR Countdown Series. Um, I got the NASCAR Champion Profile Series. We'll preview all the NASCAR races in 2022. 
well, pro wrestling, we have football, college, um, CFL, um, even the United Football League. Maybe we can get into that NFL. So if you want to check it out, please go through and look the history. Otherwise, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. And don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports out of content. Have a great New Year's.